Hello there, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be with you today to talk about part two of uh, why the giraffe leg is so important and uh, talk about venous compression. And these are going to be some practical videos using Velcro and strap devices, how to put these devices on and off. And I'm joined by my partner of over a quarter of a century, uh, Claudia Boyle. Uh, Claudia, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dr. Caprini. We're going to get down to the meat of this stuff now. Let's look at some practical applications, huh? That's right. And we know that uh, it's important for the health of our legs uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, engage in the appropriate compression devices. And the, this giraffe concept is so important. Just to review, the giraffe has steel-like skin, so it doesn't expand. So despite the high pressure in the venous a circuit in the legs of a giraffe. When the giraffe moves its legs, the muscles contract, the blood is forced out of the leg because it can't uh, uh, leak, it can't stretch the skin. The skin doesn't stretch. It would be nice if we had giraffe skin maybe, but we don't. <laughs> Our skin is very elastic. And so it's just the opposite. So at this point, uh, I'm going to uh, ask Claudia to start her uh, videos uh, and we, we, we'll uh, go ahead with the demonstration. Okay, we're gonna start with a demonstration um, of the undersock that's often used with compression wraps. Uh, and I wanna talk about that for just a second because these special socks, and you can kind of see it in this picture, um, they're different than a compression stocking. They're designed to have two functions. One is to apply compression to the foot and ankle below where the Velcro wrap would end. And the second function is to act as a barrier between the leg and the Velcro wrap when you're wearing it so it isn't necessary to wash the Velcro wrap. Uh, the Velcro wraps are a bit thicker. It would be cumbersome to have to wash them all the time where these socks are, are quite easy to wash. Um, they're also made out of more of a sock-like material than many compression stockings, which makes them very comfortable um, and much easier to get on. Uh, the fact that the compression ends, you can see uh, in this photo a little bit, a line above the heel, and that's where the compression ends on the stocking. Um, and the fact that it doesn't have compression all the way up is another factor in making it easier to get the, the, the liner on. Um, prior to the invention of a, com a partial compression liner, which is what we call these, or hybrid liners, if you wore a Velcro wrap on your leg, you also had to wear a Velcro wrap on your foot or try to use a good shoe as compression for that. Um, with the development of the hybrid liner, uh, props to uh, Dr. Dr. Wade Farrell, um, we, we are now able to make this uh, wearing a Velcro wrap just more practical by using these liner socks. So I'm gonna demonstrate one way to get the, uh, the compression liner on here. So I'm reaching my hand through, down through the sock, which is easy because it's stretchy. I'm pinching the heel of the sock and turning it inside out all the way to the heel. I'm gonna kind of wiggle, wiggle that sock on until I hit the end of my foot get to the toes, make a little pocket, pull that around the heel, this is not difficult, and then bring it up the rest of the way. Very easy to do. In a pinch, if this would be difficult, most people, um, if they can't quite wrap their brain around the inside out, most people can actually apply this liner sock on like a regular sock, it's not that difficult. All right. So the next video is the first of the Velcro application aid. So we're gonna demonstrate three different Velcro wraps that have different properties. This wrap is a Circade uh, Juxta Fit. It's got a black inside, a beige outside. There's a little thing at the top that tells you it's the top. Since we wanna close it in the front, we have to bring it around the back of the leg. You can hear the Velcro when it's new. This, the Velcro is quite strong and I'm struggling a little bit here to get that one strap to open. That gets easier after the first time you put it on. So I'm just applying it from the top down to get it on, adjusting the centering. We want it above the ankle, below the knee. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tighten each band. You can do this one band at a time or two at a time. I like to pull on the band above for counter pressure. And we're gonna make that nice and snug. And now we're gonna see this wrap is a unique feature where you can sort of gauge the pressure. And I'm going to line up in those little lines all the way up and down. The arrow is in one line and then in the boxes I can read about how much compression I've pulled out of the, of the band. The lines get farther apart as you pull on that strap. So the, the little boxes are small and sometimes it's a little hard to see, but 
uh, in most cases, as long as you hit one of those boxes, you're okay. But if you're good, they really are, are very specific in terms of how much compression you're getting on there. And you can go back and forth as many times as you need to, to make sure you've got the compression that you want. Okay. The next uh, uh, Velcro wrap we're going to look at is a, a Juzo product. And it's, diff it's similar in design, but it does have an extra feature in that allows you to pull uh, the wrap on first. For some people kind of getting started is confusing about where to start on this design of wrap. So this one has this nice little sleeve. Once you pull it on, it's very clear what goes where, um, but we're gonna do the same. We're gonna open the Velcro and we're gonna bring it across from the top down and position, uh, get that wrap into position. And then we're gonna go back and tighten those bands up from the bottom up. And we want a nice firm pull. Basically you wanna feel like you've pulled the stretch out of the band, that there's resistance enough that that band is done being stretched before you close it. And when you do that, generally you're gonna be right at around 30 millimeters of mercury. You know, certainly more if you're super strong. The nice thing with the Velcro wrap is you can tolerate more compression in the wrap than you can often in a compression stocking with no adverse effects. Uh, one additional thing about this wrap, it's the only one that's actually reversible. You can actually apply the Velcro so that you can wear it either beige side out or black side out. And that's a unique property to the Juzo product. This uh, demonstration is gonna be on a ferrule wrap. And you'll see that this has a completely different design than, uh, than the other wraps. Instead of having sort of interlocking bands, these bands um, overlap. So we must begin at the bottom and you're gonna hold that strap and close the other. Um, after the first one, you really wanna get a good stretch. And again, you really feel like you're pulling the stretch out of that band before you bring it closed. So, so that you're not just closing it. And a compression stocking, when you put it on, that sock is applying compression the, the compression that was designed to apply. In a Velcro wrap, the compression, the power of the compression is you. <laughs> so you've got to pull on those bands to get the compression for. But this way, with this design, we've got this beautiful, um, smooth, very much like being compression bandaged all the way up. There's no weak points. Like sometimes there can be on some of the interlocking ones. It's a bit bulkier, but it's very strong. Well, this is very interesting, Claudia, and as those of you that have been listening to her can readily tell the amount of experience and with the different devices. So while you stop sharing your screen, um, I would like to show you another device uh, that, is a, that, that is part of this series. And here we have a patient who had a total knee replacement, and after the total knee replacement was quite concerned about swelling. Uh, so we uh, prescribed this uh, this appliance. And when I watched how well this patient was able to do the whole process, I thought that we really should uh, show it to everybody because this is an average. This lady is 79 years old. She had this knee replacement and uh, was able to do a very nice job, I think, of uh, demonstrating uh, how to, uh, what to do. So the first thing is that uh, she will take the liner and in this case, as Claudia said, this is a simple liner, so you can put it on almost like a stocking. So she puts the liner on. Notice this foot pad, very, very important for everybody using stockings of any kind. Look at how you can adjust the foot and adjust the, the toes and move it back and forth. And that's really, really important. Now, this is a different device. This is a Sigveris strap device, and it has that sleeve that you put on, which will tell you right away that you got it on the right way. And then instead of Velcro, it uses bra clips that you'll see here. And it's very simple. All the patient has to do is push the, the bra clips back. And I can see, uh, you can see how easy this is. And even with arthritis and so forth, it's not really hard to do. And the other thing is the bra clips aren't going to wear out. The Velcro mm -hmm. will wear out eventually, but not the bra clips. So here we have the device on. It's very, very simple. And uh, we have the liner on top. Uh, fold it over the top. And you can't compress the knee in a knee replacement. The knee itself, that's a, that's a, a different uh, sort of a, an arrangement. And uh, the purpose is that I discourage people from trying to, uh, to compress the knee joint itself, but rather below where the swelling is. And here you can see that she's very easily able to take it off. And, and controlling this swelling 
greatly decreases the chance of a blood clot. That's the big thing here is mm -hmm. that venous sludging, especially if the patient's not ambulatory and having a lot of pain and so forth, uh, that's very important. Very easy to take the stocking off. Yeah. Now on the other leg, we have a hybrid liner, which is a heavier product. And this is the way we found, which is a secret weapon. It's so simple. It's like magic taking this stocking off. And, and there you go. Uh, nothing really to it. Beautiful. So that I hope that uh, these demonstrations have helped all of you uh, decide about this. And uh, I would like to encourage you again, you can see the importance of a personal fitter and somebody who has experience with these because they're all different devices and people are all different and you have to, uh, you have to really fit them together. So, and thank you, Claudia. Uh, do you have any closing remarks as far as this goes? Uh, you know, I feel like we've been through the history of Velcro in this <laughs> two-part series um, with the one that very rigid one of the part one of the series and all the different styles. And then uh, that final one, which is a really unique product, uh, unlike anything else. Um, and really, there is something for everyone. It's just um, get, get a good fitter to help you choose the best thing for you. So thank you very much, everyone. We appreciate your comments. Appreciate you signing up to our site to look at for more uh, uh, visiting professors. And we hope everyone has enjoyed this and have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Claudia. Thank you, Dr. Caprini.